If you love mixed media art journaling or soul collage cards, I'm so excited today to share some simple and fun abstract collage techniques that will help spark some creativity in your practice. I'll be sharing an intuitive mixed media collage art tutorial, as well as tips and three different ways that you can transform the same piece of artwork into bookmarks or soul collage cards or into your mindful art journal. If you're just now finding us, today is day 23 in our 30 day art challenge and our prompt is dancing with edges. You can download the free calendar below if you'd like to follow along and we will dive right in. For today's intuitive collage activity, I recommend beginning with an abstract image. You can either find something from a magazine or book like I have here, or if you love to draw or paint, you can also create the background. I'll be sharing in today's video some different techniques on how to transform the collage imagery using some ink drawing, as well as how to combine and transform the shapes of the collage. And you can use this for three different projects. So you may have heard me say on the channel here before that I love having really specific prompts or creative limitations to allow us to begin without feeling quite as overwhelmed. So today's prompt is dancing with edges. And as you can see here, I'm using that abstract image to inform the marks that I'm making. So I'm just noticing any shapes that are already on that magazine background and taking a moment to enhance it or create something slightly new and different with my ink drawing. I am using just a micron pen here. It's very simple, minimalistic art supplies that we'll need for today's projects. Whether you enjoy art journaling for calmness or for mental health, or if you're coming to art journaling as a beginner or soul collage, these are really simple mindful art activities that you can do to help you de-stress. So I like to work in multiples as well. So you may hear me say sometimes that I will often read multiple books at the same time. I'll create multiple projects at the same time. I know everyone is different. By having that one magazine image and splitting it up into three sections and then doodling and drawing, there's already this synergy and this connection between all of the images. So once I have the marks, I'm just playing around now with moving the images around. I'm noticing that some of the edges um, make some interesting shapes when they're connected together. So the prompt today is narrowing our focus on the edges of the page, which sometimes can be overlooked. And so that's another great thing about using creative prompts to adjust your awareness and so much of mindful art activities are about being really present with what we're creating and being curious and open. So it's just another prompt that I feel like can help us step into that more. So what I've done here is I've switched from the bookmark having three separate images and I've placed them all onto one page. You can do this directly in your art journal if you'd like. And again, I'm playing with the edges. So now that I have it on a new background or format, I'm continuing to expand on playing with the edges. I've showed this technique a little bit on the channel before if you've seen my other channels, this, uh, these organic lines and then anytime the lines cross, taking a moment to fill in and kind of shadow in those sections. That is also known as neurographic art, not to be confused with neurographica, which is a more in-depth process. So you may have noticed I trimmed the edges as well. So this practice is also largely about continually checking in and seeing and giving yourself that permission to make changes. You can completely cut up your entire abstract image here if you'd like and reassemble it together. So there is freedom in that. That could also feel overwhelming for some. So just step in whatever ways feel comfortable for you. So in a little bit, I'm going to be showing how I transform this abstract image into a soul collage card. So if you're new to soul collage, I do have other videos here on the channel that speak about how to make soul collage cards, as well as other soul collage instructions and exercises. This is a five by eight um, card stock that I have here, which is really typical for soul collage cards. Typically, I will have the image placed on the white background and have the colored background for the back of the card. But in this case, because it is abstract and it's a smaller image, I am going to place it here with the colored background showing. 
And so there can be, uh, for soul collage cards, a lot of times people will only use magazine images, but it can be really fun to embellish and play with drawing or painting. And so that's what the, these prompts today are just to expand and allow us to be a bit more open and curious and creative and playful with our soul collage cards. You can always give it a try and see how you like it. So I'm just gluing the background image on. What I love with abstract paintings or abstract drawings or intuitive abstract collages is to turn the image around in multiple directions. So you can kind of check in. I do have some leftover images. I'm gonna keep those that I can play with later in my art journal. So that's what I'm setting aside over here. I hope you found some of these abstract collage techniques inspiring for your own practice. We'll be building on these collage techniques in our next video with the prompt of reflections. And we will be diving in deeper to some soul collage journaling prompt. And if you're ready right now for more art inspiration, you can watch one of these videos here. And I will see you for the next video in our 30 day art challenge.